So here's a really good story for me about my life. Um, and this story has been told uh, several times. I've told many people. Um, when I was growing up, grew up in Saginaw, not the greatest situation. And to help me escape the, the block life uh, in the city, blocks, the block life in the city, um, the neighborhoods, you know, um, <laughs> my grandmother owned a bar out in the country and I could go, I would go stay at the, at the bar for a while out in the country and, and experience the country life, which I loved. I loved the peace. It was so nice to have that peaceful environment. But then at a point in time, it'd be too peaceful and I'd need that interaction again um, that was happening in my life. But I enjoyed going out to my aunt, my aunt's house. She lived about uh, five minutes away from the bar. My grandparents lived behind the bar in the woods. Um, it was country. It was country as country can be. Um, and my aunt lived down this dirt road called Turtle Road, I think, because a lot of turtles crossed the road trying to get to the pond or something. Anyway, she lived down this dirt road that was, I'm going to say, it seemed like everybody was sitting on probably like 10 plus acres. That's how much, like every house was a, or farm was scattered about, and the farm that she lived on was not a agricultural farm at the time. It was just one big yard of overgrown um, wheat and hay and barley, maybe. I don't know, stuff that looked like that. I was young. Um, so I was 14 at the time. For this story, I was 14. Summertime, quiet, peaceful, crickets. I mean, we're talking storybook. We're talking early morning, Saturday, things are well. It's probably 75 degrees out. It's going to be 85. Sun's out. The grass is just dry as a bone. No rain in weeks. Um, the driveway is, is essentially is dirt. Um, so when people come in, there's a trail of a cloud of very fine dust. Um, and there's cats, barn cats. There's a barn. There's barn cats. There's uh, kittens under the porch. And I hated the kittens. I hated the cats. They were never declawed. And they were not nice. <laughs> That's not what this story is about, though. This story is uh, a great one. My Aunt Vicky, um, amazing aunt. Um, she's a she's kind of like a hippie, um, hard worker, loving person. Just so much so much fun to give. Anyway, here I am, fourteen, kind of bored. She says, "Take the keys to the car. Go take the car for a drive." I'm like, what do you mean take a car for a drive? I have no license. I have no learn. I don't know how to drive a car. And uh, she says, well, this is how you learn. And she says, come on, kid. And she takes me outside and starts the car for me. Says, this is park, reverse, neutral, drive, etc. I have 10 acres here. The farm across the street's on about 10 acres. That was a pig farm. And she said, just do the loops. Drive around the farm. Just do whatever you want. Be be careful. I drove that car for hours. <laughs> it was fantastic. I didn't want to leave. But that's, that was Aunt Vicky. Uh, that still is Aunt Vicky. Um, 14 years old, gave me the keys to the car. and said, go do your thing. Learn how to drive. And I did. And that's how I learned to drive by myself. Nobody else in the car. I learned to accelerate, reverse, go backwards, turn around. I learned it all. So it's fantastic. I loved it. Um, I don't know if you can do that anymore. Peace, blessings.